this is Technicali speaking, and today I'm back with another invention, the twisty turn. So this is basically an innovation that um, was actually inspired by a project that we were working on in school, where we had to uh, create and develop a toy that was used to help people with uh, cerebral palsy. And um, I was really able to connect with this because there's this girl that goes to my church and she's three years old. Her name's Erica and she has CP. And so I thought that I could make something that would help her out a lot and she would like to play with. So I was actually working on this project at school with a group of people. So there was Sophia, Alina, and me. And um, she, uh, Alina was the one who came up with this idea. And um, so one of the things when we were thinking about cerebral palsy was um, sometimes they have trouble with motor skills, especially gripping and turning things. And so that's where we came up with the idea for, for the twisty turn. Okay, so the idea behind this is kind of a three-piece puzzle that's on a rod so that you can turn each of the pieces. And in this one, um, just make different dolls, kind of. And um, just to, like keep this in mind you can make basically anything you can make like a robot or a dinosaur or something um, with each of the sides it's just we designed this one with Erica in mind so we did dolls and different fashion designs so the first prototype that we made out of this was mainly made out of um, wood and some cardboard pieces there's like a chopstick as one of the rods in here and some washers and then we just printed out some images and taped them on um, and if we were to improve this, we actually got some feedback, and, um, if we were to improve on this, then it's supposed to be smaller so that little kids' hands can grip it, because, like, my hand can barely grip it, because my hand's tiny. Um, but also make it a little bit lighter so it's easier for them to pick up and stuff. So some other ways you could improve it is you could add different textures to each of the pieces, you could add Velcro to it so you could change out the pieces on them, or just, like, have something that snaps on so you can change each of these. Um, and just different things like that that would make it a really better toy. So maybe even some artists can help out by drawing different pictures that can go on here, like uh, animals or robots. Even Makey can probably make an appearance. Um, that'd be really cool. Or like vinyl artists that can um, like make stuff that goes on here, like I just said. So yeah, the possibilities are endless. So I want your help in taking the twisty turn to the next level. And here's some ways that you can help. So the first piece that we need to 3D design is this main piece right here that's the part that you twist. And um, currently this part is two inches in diameter right here. And we would probably need to make that smaller in order for little kids to be able to grip that better. So let's cross that out and aim for 1.5 inches just to make it a little bit easier. And I forgot to mention that we're going to aim for one and a half inches for the height. So these are what it would look like on each of the sides. Um, for example, this is how it would look on the bottom here. This is how it would look on both sides. And this is how this would look on the top here. And this would enable us to be able to click each part into place. For example, on mine right here, it kind of just spins. It doesn't click or anything. But I was thinking it would be cooler if it'd be able to just snap into place, something like that, so that you wouldn't have to spin it around most of the time. And it would be easier and more fun to play with. So my drawings here, which are not the greatest, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to say, um, kind of show how this would each have ridges on the side and then these would have like a hole or slit or something that you could put a piece of flexible plastic, maybe a piece of like milk jug or something that would be able to just uh, engage with each of these little ridges right here and just kind of thunk along each one like just snap into place. It's hard to explain. So these two pieces right here would be the same. Um, you would probably only need to 3D design one of them. And then the final piece that we would have here is this rod right here, which would have one end that's kind of flat on it, like this part right here. And then it would have a couple of washers on it to um, keep it from like getting stuck or anything. And then it would have the rod right here so you could just thread everything onto it like a necklace. And then once it's done, then there would be another end that would go onto it that would just kind of sandwich the whole thing and finish it off. Oh, and don't forget these two washes in the middle because you might need those to get the spacing right. I'm really open to any design that you come up with. Um, one of the ideas that I heard was maybe adding a ring to the top here so you can like attach it to a horse for people who are using horse therapy for when they're riding horses, which sounds really crazy but also kind of fun, and um, just anything like that. So as for the timeline of this project, I think I'm going to aim for getting something done around 
um, May 18th for Maker Fair Bay Area. But I think this project will be a great opportunity to show teachers and educators how well and how cool um, open source making is. So if you're a maker and you want to help out, whether it be through 3D printing and designing or just doing arts, uh, like the drawing for it or anything like that, there's also a group project on Hackaday, so if you want to check that out and see how we're doing so far, then just I'll post the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching and for helping out with this project. I can't wait to see what spin you put on it yourself.